High school graduation is the doorway to opportunity, to jobs and careers, to higher education, to service in the military and law enforcement. Third grade reading holds the key to that door. 74% of students who do not read on grade level by the end of third grade will not catch up in time to graduate with their class. Every year, more than 80% of low-income children miss this critical milestone. If this continues, this means more poverty in the next generation. A workforce that is less competitive in the global economy and a military less ready to protect our nation's security. These realities are costly, unsustainable, and unacceptable. You can help by joining others in your community find local solutions to three problems that explain why so many students get off track. One, too many children are coming to preschool and kindergarten neither prepared nor ready to succeed. Two, too many children are missing too many days of school. Three, too many students lose too much ground over the summer months, returning to school further behind than when they left in June. Help others understand the challenges. Here's one example. Let's look at two children, one from a middle-income family, the other from one of the millions of low-income American families. As the two kids head off to kindergarten, look what happens. The middle-income child starts out with a six-month lead. The low-income child is already falling behind because of a lack of access to early reading and preschool education. During their year in kindergarten, in the same school and classroom, the two children will learn at about the same rate, so we'll move them both forward nine months. But look what happens in that first summer between kindergarten and first grade. Our middle-income child moves ahead about a month in reading because learning of one kind or another continues over the summer. The low-income child falls back about two months. So when school begins again, when they go back for first grade, the gap between them has already widened. By just the third grade, the two children are already far apart. By the end of fifth grade, the gap between the children is two and a half to three years. It will keep growing through middle school. So you see, without addressing what's happening during the summer, it is impossible to ever catch up. It's impossible to close the gap. No matter how much high-quality learning goes on from September to June, every year the gap widens. Nationwide, as many as 7.5 million students miss nearly a month of school every year. That's 135 million days of lost time in the classroom. In some cities, as many as one in four students are missing that much school. Chronic absenteeism is a red alert that students are headed for academic trouble and eventually for dropping out of high school. But poor attendance isn't just a problem in high school. It can start as early as kindergarten. By the time they reach third grade, some of these students may have missed out on half a year of class time with serious academic consequences. Many struggle with reading and fall behind in math. Chronic absence is a particular problem for children from low-income families who face challenges year after year in getting to school. Once they recognize the problem, families, schools, and communities can do a lot to improve attendance. If there is a problem of asthma or dental care, health providers can help. If the walk to school is dangerous, neighbors can organize safe routes. If children are moving from apartment to apartment or are homeless, social workers can connect these families to the support they need. And we can all help by sending a message that going to school every day is the key to a brighter future for our children. We all know our kids won't succeed in school if they're not in school. So we need to work together, parents and families, schools and community organizations, to end chronic absence and ensure that when it comes to academic success, every day counts. Hi. 
I'm Gordon from Sesame Street. Oh, wait a minute, what is this thing? Oh, that's a zucchini, Elmo. It's a type of vegetable. Oh, a zucchini, great. Yeah. Elmo learned a new word. <laughs> Did you know that it's important for children who are entering kindergarten to know and to understand lots of different words and that they can learn them from everyday conversations with the adults around them. Oh, Gordon, Gordon, how mm -hmm. about this thing? Oh, that is a spatula, Elmo. It's, it's a tool that's used for cooking. Spatula. Mm -hmm. Elmo learned another new word, baby! <laughs> <laughs> so, help build your children's vocabulary by reading books together, telling stories, and pointing out and describing all the interesting things that you experience together every day. Ah, uh, Gordon, a little help. Oh, that is a kiwi, Elmo, a yummy fruit. Kiwi, booyah! Yeah. I love a new word and a snack for later. <laughs> All right. Every moment with your children is a learning moment. When you read and talk to them about the world that's all around them, they can be better prepared for school and for life. Go ahead, go ahead, look. <laughs> oh, that's a basketball, Elmo. Oh, that's a great sport. It's good for fun and for exercise, too. Well, not just a basketball, Gordon. Oh? A puppy spirit go on and play the basketball. Wow, that's some vocabulary, Elmo. Thank you. Wait a minute. What? If you already knew what it was, then why did you bring it to me? Well, so Elmo and Gordon can play, soon. Oh, hey, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's Come go. on, let's go. <laughs>